Now imagine playing tackle football with your eyes closed. Jason Bracey has been doing it for years because he's blind, but he won't let that, his lack of vision, stop him from doing what he loves. Here's Jason's incredible story. Jason Bracey understands what it takes to win on the football field, even though he will never see it with his own eyes. He developed retinoblastoma as a toddler, and after multiple treatments over six years, nothing was successful. By his seventh birthday, Jason had an eye removed and was completely blind. Despite growing up without his sight, Jason never steered away from following his dreams. At age 13, he was ready to try football. After many phone calls to local teams, a coach gave Jason a chance to play. Jason is now the starting quarterback for the Modesto Raiders. Jason and Jason the second. Thank you guys so much for joining us here on DBL. Now, Jason, after your son had to have an eye removed and he lost his vision, what were you thinking about his future? Probably like any other father, I pretty much figured, well, there goes the chance of me watching my son play baseball, play football, any sports out in the field. So, it, you know, it was depressing. Jason the second. I need you to tell us what you did to find a team that would give you a chance to join them. I was calling teams around, got a bunch of no's, and then when I called the Modesto Raiders, they um, talked to Coach um, David. He said, let me talk over with your dad. We had no idea that he was trying to contact any team. Then one day we get a call from Coach David Nichols, and towards the end of the conversation, all of a sudden he goes, oh, before we hang up, Mr. Bracey, did he say he was blind? So I go, yes, yeah, he's blind. And he goes, I'm not gonna tell your son no that he can't come out and play with us, but I've never coached a blind kid before, so this is gonna be a venture. And I say, it's gonna be a venture for both of us because I've never seen a blind player <laughs> play football before either. That's awesome. Wow. wow. All right, so now let's get into it because it takes both of you, obviously, for Jason to be the quarterback of the team. Jason, can you explain how you communicate with your son during the play to successfully complete a pass or any play? During practice, it's repetition, repetition. Come game time, he has a, a speaker in his helmet and I'm on the sideline with the walkie talkie. I have to be his eyes, obviously, and at the same time, tell him which pattern to throw to. Depending on which one I believe is open, I'll tell him seven, eight, or one, and that tells him which pattern to throw to. What is your absolute favorite moment about being a quarterback so far? My favorite moment of quarterback is probably my first touchdown on my first year of playing. We were doing a quarterback keep from the five yard line. So it's a far dive almost. I bobbled the snap, got control of it, and I just dove for the end zone. That's beautiful. That's gotta be terrifying. I mean, not being able to see and just have faith in your dad, so to speak, saying like, just keep going. Nobody, you're gonna, you're gonna make it. Jason, when you throw an interception, which Jason is that blamed on? Oh, good question. <laughs> As a quarterback responsibility, I'll take that. So very <laughs> yeah. responsible, tough kid. I love it. Jason and Jason the second. Thank you for sharing your inspiring story here on Daily Blast Live and to our DBL Nation to learn more about retinoblastoma. You could visit knowtheglow.org. Thanks again, guys. We'll be right back. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Appreciate it.